I'm a bit of a pacifist, and I want to make it clear from the get-go that doesn't mean that I'm against all war. I'm not naive enough to believe that everything could be solved without there ever being any armed conflict. Obviously, it was necessary to fight Hitler in the Second World War because he would have continued to take over countries. However, there is a big difference between fighting off someone who started a war and starting a war on, as we've seen in the last decade, increasingly vague definitions of, you know, why they are supposedly threatening enough to warrant being attacked before they attack us. You know, we're being lied to in order to get into these wars. And as such, I just think that before you start a war, there should be some measures so that you aren't allowed to distance yourself from it. If you must start a war, and you are in the position that people elected you to, in which you can start a war, I suppose as long as it is like that, then you have the capacity to start a war. But, I would like to make some suggestions as for what should be prerequisite to starting such a war. I think that anyone who is for it should be subjected to a, an extremely realistic simulation of what it's like to be in war, and at least some of that should be the very worst case scenarios, because some people will experience that. I think they should all have to have their own offspring drafted, supply them old enough. I think anyone who is drafted, certainly anyone who isn't directly related to those who want to wage this war, should get a very realistic and in-depth explanation of what they might experience in this war. I think it should be made sure, made clear that they might die. Will they be leaving any family behind? Are they ready for that I don't have a problem with people who personally fight wars. I don't think that war is always right, far from it, but the people on the ground doing it are following orders, and some of them had no choice. Some of them were lured by promise of a paid for education, or they had nothing back home, they had low self-esteem, a fragile ego. I don't have a problem with any of those. I commend them for the courage that many of them show. But I do think that War should never be something that you go into with ease and without having thought through the consequences, without having exhausted all diplomatic solutions. It should be a last resort, and it shouldn't be something you go into unless you're absolutely clear on what 
the outcome could be in the worst case. Those are my thoughts.